All right, um, yeah, anyway, so I'm in Galveston for a wedding. So I'm literally posting from the best wall in the motel we got at the last minute. The other hotel was nicer, but then they thought we were supposed to be there Thursday. I don't know how the hell that happened. I'm pretty sure you go online and you pick the date for Saturday that it's not supposed to be for Thursday. And they're supposed to call you before that, but they call you after. So it's been a couple days. Anyways, I was looking for stone Mexican lager. Uh, Buena Vesa salt and lime lager. Boom. There you go. So I got on the way. So since I'm here, I only got one can. So for the wedding, let's celebrate. I'm using only the finest equipment that this motel provided. <laughs> this wonderful see-through plastic glass. So I am thankful I have this beer right now. <laughs> I'm really so glad I have it right now. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise... There's nothing in, on the on the island area where we're going. There's nothing. There really is barely anything here, and we're actually right by the beach. So I'm living it up. I'm just gonna be happy. All right, time off. Thank you for work. I guess they're gonna get married and have fun. It's very be very small. It's good to be invited. Uh, despite everything, just always make the best of it. And so, if you're not having the most absolute great time, just have a beer and relax. There we go. I already got the the lime and the salt off the bat. Honestly, I'm not too keen on it only because I know that uh, lime and uh, lemon and oranges, all that, once you remove the pulp or the juice from the pulp, it loses its uh, flavor within like four hours. So <clears throat> ideally they'll get the oil from the peel and some companies do a good job at it and they keep it real nice and other ones you get that bitterness. So that sometimes you use it in something like beer and then it gets more of the bitterness comes out. So it's just a very hard thing. Uh, the only other alternative is citric acid, which surprisingly, gets derived from corn cobs. So once you're done with the corn, um, it became a very essential product in America because corporations found many uses for it. So one of them is they're able to derive a citric acid from the corn. So even though you don't taste it, corn has natural acidity in it, but it's very mellow. So once they process it and they pull it out, you get this powder. So all the candies you're used to from like Mexico or things that have lemon or flavor, it's just they put a good amount of citric acid and it tastes as if the lime was in there. So those are just things to know when you're trying citrus actually very nice still has a little more bitterness than your average lager stone is known for having very intense flavor beers um, arrogant bachelor was the most common one people couldn't handle it but people that love hops that enjoy the bitter they don't really their palate doesn't really get smacked with it they actually get all the other flavors and they tend to enjoy it this was very uh, acquired like an acquired taste for some but desired by quite a lot of people so when they started years ago this was not a common thing lager was dominating the market of american lager which is very light uh very quickly made very cheap and there were some people that were willing to pay to have more flavor so they just they were hop heads and they're like well, this is what we want and they met the masses of the people that wanted it and now they're doing great so by all means if you always want like oh man like some people tend to say they like bud light or budweiser but what it really is is when it's mistreated kept outside not kept at constant temperatures it starts adding the bitterness to it. So if you're drinking with a person and they go, oh, this is perfect, that's why I love it. And it's very bitter and it's a very intense hop, but it's not correct. It's because they really desire more hop flavors. They don't really understand beer enough to know that's what they want. So the body's like, some might say, oh, it's gonna be too dense, but most people are just looking for the flavor more than anything. They're not even worried about texture. Uh, texture people are, are, are less in, in numbers, period, compared to just flavor profiles. So. Uh, before you go into the bodies of beer, just understand the flavors first and you might be surprised because like I didn't think I could handle wheat beers and then I went to Germany and I was loving them. Uh, they're actually more lighter over here in America just the way they process them. And then I like super malty beers as long as the body backs it up. Wines, when I pay a little extra on wines and they have a little more going on the body, I can enjoy more tannins. So I'm very sensitive to tannins despite that I enjoy whiskey or bourbon or coffee. Uh, those tannins just when there's too much and the body's not there to help carry it over or the acidity's not there or the acidity's too low it just smacks me across the tongue and i'm like <sighs> i can't do it it's not that it dries my mouth out i i can deal with that sensation it's a combination of the bitter and the tannins just coming together and it overwhelms me so this is just going to have a little extra it has a nice little fruit from the, the lime it's almost perfuming uh, because of the lime and everything but it's very nice the salt is very subtle this is a good easy drink in lager. Um, you see more color, even though the light's not super bright over here, it definitely, it has more color. So they definitely made a solid uh, malt background before creating this flavor profile. So 
surprisingly you will enjoy it more than you think so the whole point of this is uh this one and i think the last one i had had a little more of that after flavor and then the first couple of the mexican style lagers like lone star and stuff those would be your smoother softer ones and so if you see those videos and you're more on that side that's to guide you towards those ones if you're like you know i would drink that if it had more hops more bitterness more of that well stone's one of them so the last one i think was alberto by high brewing which is very surprising they make kind of soft beers but not like um wimpy because they have other focuses so they're gonna focus on them all they're gonna focus on like the blueberry you know so it seems that way so for hop heads are like oh that's nothing i don't want that for your average drinker beautiful beers uh has a little lingering bitterness but it's beautiful and this one as well so it's a solid lager i love it i would drink it again i got one because i'm on the road so i grabbed a couple other ones i'm gonna go enjoy this wedding so anyone uh, if you have a moment uh, enjoy life I got, I got to see my friends from the army and now i got to stop by and see another friend that i used to work with it's good to catch up forgive me if i talk to you mom but i love you and i hope you're doing all right and this one's for you Salud.